This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome to Essentially Jacob, the perfume shrine. Today we're going to be talking, as you can see also by the Halloween attire of the fashion bunker, we're going to be talking top five perfumes for the month of October, the spookiest month of the year, kind of my favorite month of the year because Halloween is my favorite time of the year. Before we get to the selection, thumb up this video if you're liking my channel and subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you so much. And over on my main channel is where I live stream every Saturday. So this video was is being recorded as I'm talking, but it was recorded on my main channel. You can all join me every Saturday on my main channel and partake in the conversation. So um, thank you to all my co-chatters who are with me in the chats right now. Let's see if you can guess which perfumes I'm going <laughs> to show you today. But also, for those of you who are watching later on, you can write in the comments down below what your favorite five perfumes for the month of October are. And for those of you who follow me um, and want to support this channel as well, you can become a patron, Super Deco Ball Spelled Together on Patreon. You can also become a member of my main channel, which also supports this channel. Uh, you get extra perks. One of these extra perks is going to be next week I'm filming an exclusive pre-show just for my tier two members and patrons talking about the behind the top five perfumes for the month of October. There's a lot of psychology involved in that video. We go even more deep under the surface of fragrances in that special series, which is dedicated only to tier two members and patrons. Okay, you guys. So the first perfume, now this one, you might have guessed it because I did hint at it already in my on my Instagram post, but um, Shalimar, uh, Shalimar Souffle de Parfum, which doesn't mean souffle, this is not food. It is a whisper or a whiff of perfume. This one to me screams autumn in the best of ways it is almost i want to say borderline more november early november than october but somehow this year i've been craving it from the get-go i've been craving it already from like late september so i'm using this one a lot mostly in the evening but sometimes i kind of really like to spritz it at a very big distance or sometimes only in the air and just walk through it early in the morning this one does wake up an appetite. This one makes you crave food. So it's a bit tricky one if you're on a diet. I would not, <laughs> I would never recommend this one if you're on a diet. Why is this such an October slash kind of Halloween type of smell? It's like a shadow version of Shalimar. It's like a simpler version of Shalimar, but it is at the same time, it, it doesn't scratch you like Shalimar does. It's a, it's a whiff of Shalimar. It's just, yeah, uh, Rich Mitch is saying in the chat, uh, a whiff, as Bob Ross would say. And it, you know what? It's good that you're mentioning Bob Ross. This one does have, if you guys don't know Bob Ross, look it up as Madge would say, but um, his way of stroking, <laughs> Ah, here we go with the puns, uh, with the brush, <laughs> the canvas. <laughs> okay, whatever. Oh my God, get your mind out of the gutter, Jacob. <laughs> anyway, um, it does feel like a supple version of a cloud. Shalimar would be the cloud, the river, the mountain peak. The the dangerous rocks and dunes and everything mixed together. Well, this one is kind of the clouds hovering on top of Shalimar. And because it is gloomy, this one is a, even the bottle is that has that blue gloomy type of almost like a cloudy atmosphere. It's a gloomy fragrance. It's, it has its gorgeous vanilla in the dry down, you know, it's very Guerlain, but it, it's gloomy. It, it, it sets the tone for crows flying around you and that cock, cock, cock of the crows. It, it just, it, it's harvest slash spiritual in a way of like spirits visiting you. It, it, it's very, very October for me. It smells of leaves falling, gray skies, pumpkins all over the place, jack-o'-lanterns. It's a mood. It's a whole mood. This one is amazing. Guerlain did a great job with this one. And you would think, oh, another flanker. Eh, this is a good one. This is a really good one. I, 
I so but it is a sweetie. Huh? This is not something austere and you know mystical. No, it's very simple. But really good. Jam says, when was this one released again? I don't know. Um good question. Not so long ago, in the tens. Somewhere in the tens, I wanna say. Somewhere in the tens. So I don't think this one has been even out yet too long. But if somebody in the chats can check out uh, when this one was released, uh, let me know. Um, now, let's see if anybody's guessing. I need that Halloween shirt, says Alisa. Thank you so much. Get your Halloween merch. The 2021 limited edition Fashion Bunker merch, which is available only until the 31st of October. There's a whole plethora of, so there's even the FOMO cult with the skeletons print. There's this print mirroring the world of humans. And then we got the Never Give Up on Love dead print as well. Now, Carolyn Freeman, Carolyn Freeman in the chats guessed it. You guessed it, Carolyn. I've never had this in my top five ever, I think. It is Coromandel. Congratulations, Caroline Freeman. You have guessed my number two. And however, it is the pure perfume of Coromandel. And um, uh, this one is really soft. It's similar to a, to a Guerlain type of fragrance. Okay, the vanilla in here and the, the patchouli is uh, toned down. But white chocolate vanilla accord in the dry down opulent very very opulent very warm very fuzzy warmer than the eau de parfum or the eau de toilette uh, the pure perfume is very october it, it's very cozy turtleneck anger up sweater like something that feels supple brown golden hues of sun golden brown leaves the crispiness of the leaves as you're walking in the street and you're walking over them. It's just almost, I want to say Indian summer in a way, probably politically incorrect to say it now, who knows, but it does feel like an extended summer that's fading and there's these cold rays of light. So it's cold and you need something warm to protect you, even though outside it's, it's sunny. Coromandel does the job. It's also very moody. It's very harvest. It's very you know, barnyard type of pumpkins everywhere. And, um, but it's a sophisticated type of harvest. It's like more like in the city, you're sitting at a bar outside, all cocooned in your, co I love layering, you know, layers when it gets cold outside and you wear the layer over layer over layer. You got your sweater, your jacket, your coat, your gorgeous little bag next to you, sitting at a cafe outdoors. It's, you know, still warm enough that you could sit outdoors with all your layers and you're feeling fabulous in autumn. This is what you wear in that cafe. It's that good. That's my number two. Coromandel screen. Yes, Jam. Imagine Coco's Coromandel screens in 31 Rue Cambon. Uh, that bottle looks very Edgar Allan Poe, says Oli. Which one? Shalimar or Coromandel? I guess this one looks more like... Oh, the pit, pit and the pendulum. Phew. Phew. This one is very Edgar Allan Poe. So, number three, uh, Jack says, well, now I need to try uh, Chalima Souffle de Parfum again. Damn. <laughs> oh, Gwen says, Souffle de Parfum came out in 2014. 2014. All right. Caramandel, yes, Oli Soto. Now, number three. Number three is a fragrance that goes back into the 90s. And again, Interesting that Shalimar, there's a special vanilla in the dry down. Coromandel also has a vanilla-esque touch. Here's another vanilla for you. Um, Yves Saint Laurent's Opium Pour Homme, the Eau de Parfum first release in its refillable package. Ah, oh, this one. This one is 90s, quintessential 90s. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I still adore, adore the Rupert Everett ad campaign back then, you know, Rupert Everett, what a hunk. So he's just laying there ready in that sultry pose, ready to do with you whatever he wants and you're ready to let him do whatever he wants. All dressed in that gorgeous purple and gold and red. And so th this smells of Rupert Everett. <laughs> back in the day, I don't wanna know how he smells now, but, and uh, 
Uh, morning, evening, afternoon, whenever. This one is not sitting at a cafe feeling your own. Oh, like Coromandel is more about being with yourself. This is an outgoing perfume. This is a seduction perfume. This is a perfume you wear to seduce. Uh, but it is so elegantly blended in the Eau de Parfum concentration that um, it doesn't overbear or overpower anyone that you get to encounter, but it works very well in autumn when the days start to get a bit colder uh, because it warms up on the skin delicately. So it's something that hints, you know, it kind of projects not too far, but it hints at something very pleasant. So whoever passes by you literally wants to stop in their footsteps and wants to kind of come close to you. And that's why it's so mesmerizing, alluring. Um, it captivates, you know, so whoever passes by wants to really come even closer to you and sniff you. So it's a game that this one plays of seduction. Very, very clever fragrance, very clever fragrance. I'm not talking about the Eau de Toilette. The Eau de Toilette has too much pepper. It's aggressive. This one is not aggressive. This one is very delicate. This one is more like tempting you, hinting at what is there. You just got to come closer. Uh, it's like a it's like a spider that spins its web and uh, it just waits for the person to, to come and, you know, to, for the fly to uh, get caught in that web. Um, and it's also very warm. So... It gives you the right mood, the right zhuzh in October. It's a wonderful fragrance for October all day long. Now we move to uh, the fourth fragrance. Let me see what that... Rich Mitch says, I've got this in this packaging. Yay! It's a good one, right, Rich Mitch? Uh, thank you, Sopa, for buying uh, the t-shirt. The Never Give Up on Love t-shirt with the heart inside the dead chest. Yay! Oh, Jam says, this one is so soft and warm. I find like a little hand warmer. It is. Soap have also bought the classic tea with the FOMO cult. Thank you. So this is a good one. The FOMO cult. We're all ready for the cult. We're all ready. <laughs> I have a vintage eau de toilette and find it really smooth, especially when you let dry down a little, says Jam. Vintage is a little bit less aggressive. I agree with you. Delightful perfume, says Rich Mitch. It's, a re it's, a, it's, the, it's exactly the right adjective. It is delightful and it's good. It's just well made. This is this is the time when Yves Saint Laurent really when they delivered. Um, is the next one Serge Luton asks Jack. The next one is another Guerlain, and uh, it is L'Or Bleu. Hmm. Now the Blue Hour. Why? Because it's a vampire of a perfume. It is annoying, smoky, hayy. And vanilla e again another vanilla, <laughs> and here we, it, it's floral. It has ylang ylang. It has a bunch of things. It's powdery. This one kind of cuts you like the cold rays of sun that can sometimes hit in October. October can have also those really cold rays of sun. This one has an acidity to it that can be very stingy, but at the same time. There has that warmth of the powdery notes and the ylang ylang, which makes it a bit creamy. And that one functions very well in October because it gives you both cold and hot. And it is what it is, <laughs> meaning it's the blue hour, it's the sunset, it's that last ray of cold October light that hits you and then it's all gone. And then we have darkness. So this one is difficult to wear, okay? I gotta admit, I cannot wear this every day. I wear this on those days when it's particularly cold, but sunny. And then when the sun is setting, that's when I start craving this one, as if I'm anticipating my vampire self to wake up. It's tricky, it's complicated, but then again, harvests happen in October. Harvests are also tricky and complicated, so. Perfect match for October. And uh, L'Or Bleu, that is, a uh, Rich Mitch says, uh, a friend sent me a decant of this. The bottle he has is from the 40s. Oh my God, Rich Mitch. Wow, that must be power bomb. Jam Human says, yes, they could, oh, you're talking about, um, Jam is talking, I have a vintage of the toilette of Opium pour homme, and then you're talking about the big factice bottle that I have in my review. That is an eau de parfum factice though, not eau de toilette. The fifth and last 
Now, mind you, thumb up this video if you're liking it, subscribe to my channel, support this young little baby perfume channel because as of now, you know, I've just initiated the perfume channel a couple of months ago. So, uh, the fifth one um, is for the coldest of days. So the fifth one is to be used towards the end of October, more than the beginning of October. And that would be a typical fragrance I love to wear if I'm going on hikes, if I'm going into the forests, if I'm feeling nature and I'm feeling the cold depth of, of, of a foresty nature type of mood and the humidity and the mossiness of the ground and the smells of the mushrooms in the forest. I love to use this one. Patchouli Imperial by Dior. The Eau de Parfum Patchouli Imperial. This one is so luscious. You know, I'm not a big patchouli fan, but the patchouli in Patchouli Imperial, mm, there's something wet about this patchouli. It's not a cheap patchouli oil. This one is a sophisticated queen patchouli or king patchouli, if you may. Very unisex. All of them are really, you know, it all depends on your own skin, but Oh damn, this one is good. And uh, and 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 what, the colder it is outside, this is not a hot perfume. This one is also quite cold, but it just bonds very. It enhances the experience of of that cold air, kind of tickling, prickling your skin, your face. You know, when you're out and about. It, it and so you're wearing it on your chest, where you have all those layers of like sweater, undergarment, whatever, jacket, scarf, and then. Your, your body's heating up the perfume, so you get wafts of it kind of just kind of emanating from underneath your clothing from as you're walking down the street. So it warms up with your heat, and as it warms up, it changes smell a little, you know? But then it kind of, as the perfume hits the cold air, it kind of freezes the smell in, in its motion, and that's when you smell it. And when you get whiffs of that frozen in motion, patchouli imperial, <gasps> heavenly, heavenly. And that magic usually happens really in cold days. So this one, in fact, is also really good for November and December. But October is the time when this one is born. You know, you begin to crave it in October and then you crave it all winter long. But this was my number five. Uh, Rich Mitch says, I really like this for autumn too. Patchouli is so nice. This is a really, really good patchouli, you guys. So I highly recommend it. So these were my top five perfumes for the month of October. Be sure to become a, a tier two member or a patron and then get access to the special video that I will be filming next Saturday, which is behind these top five perfumes. We're going to get into the psychology of them. And there, oh boy, there's a lot to talk about still. And if you think we already said a lot, we have said nothing yet. So stay tuned for that. Let me get to some of your chats. Andrew, hey, Andrew, how's it going? Sweetie? Yes, queen, worship her always. I do it. Braids on each side are fire. Thank you. She is lit for Halloween. Andrew says, Coromandel, Ambre Narguilé, number 18, and Bois des Îles. Mm, Bois des Îles was a very close call for me, too. I got to admit, Bois des Îles was a, a close contender to the top five. Didn't quite make it. Uh, and it was actually contending with L'Or Bleu, but I chose L'Or Bleu ultimately because this one is a bit more complicated. Bois des Îles goes into the warmth and stays warm. This one, this one battles me. This is a knife. This could be a dagger, but it's also uh, powdery and it's warm and cold at the same time. So I thought this one was a little bit more, this one won, but Bois des Îles was a very, very close contender. Very, very close. Andrew says, the braids, you work your girl. Chuck, Kate, and Naomi to the side. Show his boss. <gasps> Don't touch Naomi and Kate. <laughs> Jeff says, I thought Poison would be on the list. Um, poison was a bit too cut. Too cold for me, Poison was, I have to say, this time. It, it didn't feel right for me this October. Jack says, I'm all about Yasmin at Cigarette so far this month by Eldo. Only so this is, let me run and get my Patch Imperial. It's in my basement. Ooh, spooky basement. Very Halloween. Oli. Ooh. Don't let the spirits of the basement bite. Uh, L'Homme Blue is so complicated and wonderful. Excellent choice, says Andrew. Alors Bleu, thank you so much. Aisha is sending us love. Um, and also be sure to tune in and check out my other Halloween related perfume videos. Hmm, what will they be? Let me give you a hint. Best perfumes for Halloween? What's the list? Check it out, I got it for you. 
Um, another, let me read some more comments. Sycamore could possibly be a choice if mixed with some more warmth and spice and maybe vanilla. Andrew, I agree with you if you are into Sycamore Eau de Parfum, but I don't like the Eau de Parfum. I like the Eau de Toilette. And the Eau de Toilette is a wet vetiver for the depths of summer when, when it's hot outside. The Eau de Parfum of Sycamore is very warm. That one is amazing for autumn if you like the Eau de Parfum. I don't like the Eau de Parfum. Ja uh, Jam asks if I like uh, Guerlain's Nahima. I would actually have to revisit Nahima because it's been a while. I don't own a bottle, so I cannot tell you on top of my head, like if, if I'm craving it, no, no. But would I review it? Yes. Yes, I definitely would, but it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some time to get there, you know what I mean? But uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. These were my top five fragrances for the month of October 2021. Happy Halloween, everybody. Don't let the spirits bite or let them bite. They're probably just there to let you know something about yourself that you might be in denial about. Think about that. Till next time, never forget to never give up on perfume love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Mwah. We're not fading, are we? <laughs> Hold on, you guys, something is wrong. Everything froze.